allowances are required uh, to adjust the or to compensate for um, different types of delays in the work. For example, people may need restroom break, they might need to recover from personal fatigue, um, standing for a long time, they need to sit for a while to recover from them, machine downtime, maintenance, things like that. Um, so when we do calculate standard time, we have to account for the allowances. So um, there are different kinds of allowances. Some of them are constant, for example, bathroom break, restroom break, uh, personal fatigue allowances. Then there is this variable fatigue allowances, which is related to the type of tasks done under certain conditions. Uh, we'll talk more about this detail. Uh, special allowances also some other type of things uh, we'll talk about soon. Now for the constant allowances, there are two different things added into it. Uh, personal needs and basic fatigue. And then variable allowances, we'll talk about details soon. However, for the special allowances, basically unavoidable delays, for example, machine maintenance, avoidable delay actually should not be in the time study. However, things like social interactions, talking, that also um, delays things. Um, and then you add all the different kinds of allowances to get the total allowances, then add that value with the normal time to calculate the standard time. Now, here is a list of constant allowances and variable allowances provided by the International Labor Office um, percentage-wise. For example, constantly in any job, 9% allowances is added to the calculated uh, normal time of the job to get the standard time. Now, for the variable allowances, it depends on the type of task and under the under certain environment or condition the task is performed. Um, as you can see here, if you deal with heavy loads, then um, the allowances increases, lighting condition also, added allowances. Atmospheric conditions, it says between zero to 100. Uh, that is depends on how severe the condition is. I already have two videos on that which you can see in the openeducator.com under ergonomics, the first two video under the work environment and climate conditions, where we talk about basically how to determine how much time someone work in some conditions. For example, if the condition is too bad, maybe you are only allowed to work 15 minutes and then 45 minutes break. So these are explained in both of these videos very detailed. Uh, and then rest of the other allowances like noise level, um, you can simply use this table or I will provide for most of these very specific method to calculate the allowances for these different uh, types of variable conditions. Uh, I think that's it. Next few videos I'll talk about basically a specific way of determining fatigue allowances, noise allowances, um, like we did for the environmental condition already. Uh,